Here I'm going to go through a typical copy routine on the Picture Porter Advance. I've taken the memory card out of my digital camera and I insert it into the proper slot on the Picture Porter Advance. The Picture Porter is going to recognize it and show me the icon for the card I've just inserted. Uh, it's going to give me a pop-up menu and I can select a backup to HDD. I can back it up to internal SD. If I had an uh, external hard drive connected, I could also back that back it up to the external hard drive or to an external uh, flash memory drive also or a thumb drive. So in this case I'm going to select backup to HDD and it's going to give me the set of options that you see here. Uh, I can cancel this if I made a mistake and I don't want to copy this yet. Uh, the default folder name that it's going to create for the copy uh, is in the configuration of the year, the month, the day, the card format, and the sequence number. So in this case it's 1-3 for 2013, 1-1 for November, 0-5 for November 5th, SD card first in the sequence of uh, the this copy. So if I were to copy another SD card today, it would have a sequence number of 0-2. So what I'm going to do is, um, in this case, I'm going to rename this. So I'm going to select the rename option. And you see here, um, I have the option to either append uh, something to the file name, or I can actually just uh, delete it and um, create a new file name entirely. Uh, just for my example, I'm going to append ABC to the end of the file name, so that way when I'm looking through, um, I can find this uh, folder a little bit more easily. Um, I can also select folder. So what folder does is it shows me all of the existing uh, backups that I have done, so if I want to append this backup to an existing backup, I can do that. So that's um, uh, what we call the incremental copy option. So you can uh, copy the contents of this card into an existing folder and put them together. Now I'm going to cancel here because that's not what I want to do in this case and I'm going to click OK and after I click OK it's going to go ahead and start to do the copies. Now that the copy has finished, it shows me the backup summary screen uh, that gives me all the details of the copy, how many files were copied, what was the total size of the copy, the copy speed, and the total, times that it, the total time that it took. Uh, from here, I can click OK to accept it and return to the host home screen, or I can click View, and that will take me right into uh, the location of the copy. So, basically, that's how the copy function works. I'm sure for your specific use cases, you'll find different ways that you can use it to get the best result possible.